Even as a professional painter or a custom painter, you can run into paint runs, I mean into issues with paint runs. That's the most common problem when it comes to car painting or custom painting. But it's not the end of the world. With some clever tricks, you can solve this problem. And yeah, if you don't have luck, you have to start from scratch. You have to paint the complete thing all over again. But that's another story. Now let's search for some luck. And I like to show you the Bondo or the body filler trick to remove a paint run or a nose, as we say in Germany. Let's check what we need. Oh man, let's do it. And that's what we need. I use wet sand on my wet sanding bucket. You can call your wet sanding bucket however you want. Maybe Tony Mahoney. You need different grit of wet sanding paper. I use 800 grit, 1200 grit, 2000 grit. If you are a freak, you can also use 3000 grit. I stop at 2000 because I do only bike frames. What you also need is the bondo, of course, a body filler of your choice, whatever you like. You need a polishing machine. A cut compound, that's very important. And a medium sponge. I use these yellow sponges. And for all, I will link some of the products underneath the video. So please check the video description. And now let's remove the nose, as we say in Germany, or the paint run, as you say in the US. And first mix the body filler with the hardener. The red one is the hardener. That's the body filler. And then apply it around your uh, paint run in an area around about five centimeter around the paint run. And if you ask yourself what I'm doing, just be patient. At first, let's apply the body filler. And when it cures, I'll give you a little lesson why I do that and why it's necessary if you want to have success without any tears and without any drama and without repainting the frame or your parts you have painted. So at first, Apply the body filler again in an area around about five centimeter around your paint run. And now make sure it's flat as possible. And here you can see the top of the paint run. And when you can see the top, that's perfect. That is how the body filler should be applied. Oh, was a bit too much. A bit more body filler around the paint run, like so. And we are good. Now let's dry. And in the meantime, I'll show you why I do that. This video is sponsored by nobody. Let's make it short. If you like what I'm doing and if you gain information from my videos, it would be great to get a little support from you by watching my videos, of course. And if you like to support me, then I have the chance to do future videos. You can do that on Patreon, patreon.com slash realmartingray. Yeah, would be great to see you there. And yeah, of course, if you watch my videos, but now let's talk why I added the filler and what to do with the body filler and how to remove the paint run. That's the paint job from the side, the bike I painted, that's the bike, the surface of the bike, of course, and on top the paint job and in the middle, the blob, that's the paint run we have to remove. And how can we remove a paint run? By sanding, wet sanding in this case. And what's recommended is block sanding. You need a block. But the issue with the block sanding is you can't get it as flat as possible. Yeah, in theory, you can't sand flat, but not in reality. And what you are doing when you are sanding, you are not sanding the top of the paint run. You sand also in a curve like this. And in the end, you will sand into your paint shop through the color, through the clear coat. And that can cause a lot of trouble and a lot of drama because only flat sanding is not possible. You will sand in a curve. That's the reality. And to avoid exactly this, you can add the body filler and that's what I did. Now I have a super flat surface with the body filler on top. That's what it's looking now. And when I do the block sanding on top of the body filler, I can't sand into the color because I have to remove the filler also together with the paint run. And the deeper I'm sanding, I remove the body filler here and here. Also the paint run, of course, until I reach the clear coat. And the body filler gives me the chance to remove the blob without sanding into the color. And that's exactly the reason why I, uh, why I applied the filler. But now let's do the sanding and let's check reality if I have the chance to remove it. 
It's possible that I sand and color even with the filler, but I have a 50-50 chance that I don't have to paint again. So wish me luck and let's do the wet sanding. Yeah, I start with 800 grit wet sanding paper. That's the grit I'm using to remove the complete body filler and the paint run. I use of course a wooden block. These are the two things you need. Wet in the wet sanding paper in your wet sanding bucket and then start sanding. That takes a while, maybe 20 minutes. So I do a time lapse and when I'm done, we are doing the next step together. Yeah, I'm still laughing, not crying. That's what it's looking now, a flat surface, but it's only half the way to success. And next we have to do the fine tuning and the next grid I'm using is 1200 grit wet sanding paper, 1200 grit. I have to sand this area again with a finer grid. When I've done that, the 2000 grit, and then we can do the polishing. I'm still not crying and there's a good chance I will not because the hardest part is done the sanding. Now we can do the polishing. So you need a polishing machine and make sure you have an orbital polishing machine. That means it does not only circles, it does figure eights and that's very important to avoid any holograms in the uh, polishing. So invest some money more and buy yourself an orbital polishing machine, not one which does circles because these are not good. And what you also need is a polishing sponge like this. I use these medium sponges. They are in most of the cases yellow. Make sure it's a little bit wet. If it's too dry, you can burn the clear coat and you will ruin the paint job. So a little bit of water on the sponge. And then the polishing compound, I use a cut compound and you have to be very careful with cut compounds because you can remove a lot of material with polishing. So be very careful and what you do now is reduce the speed of the polishing machine if possible. I use the second, uh, uh, second gear of the polishing machine, not more, so it runs super slow. And then I'm polishing this area and when all went well, the paint runs gone. Yeah, it seems this day is a good day and that I'm a happy guy. The paint run is gone and that's the pro way of removing paint runs. I hope you learned a bit. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.